All right. So I'm gonna walk around, show you guys what we got going on. Uh, we have a lot going on. Um, and then at the end of the video, I actually have a stock boat that is available. Uh, we built it and we overlooked the fact that the customer wanted a bigger pipe on the, bi on the, uh, the bow um, and we put a smaller pipe. So I will let you guys see what it is later on. We'll let more people come in. Uh, I'm not putting a price on it. Um, whoever offers me the most money gets it. I think that's the market win right now. Uh, we, you know, quite a bit out on boats. Everyone's looking for boats. So everyone else is getting the most they can out of it. So I guess I'll go ahead and take advantage of the economy too and try to get the most I can. So let's see what we got in here. Hey, Didi, you can turn that down. Turn it down. Let's see. Let me turn this radio down. All right. Let's see. All right. So I don't know who it's for. Yes, I do. Let's see. All right, Justin Cortez, 22 by six. 22 by six. Justin got some speakers on in here. So it's 20 foot of boat, a two foot gill bracket. This boat has a pad, as you can see underneath. So it's 22 by six bait boat. Sorry, I'm a little slow on everything, trying to figure out where the paperwork is. I don't know who this one's for, or maybe I do. Kobe, Kobe Hall, it looks like. This right here, a little special project I'm working on. This is the step up gas tank. It's gonna go in the front. Simple boat, 22 by five, semi-V. And these boats I'm showing you right now, these are the ones that's ready to be painted or getting ready to be painted. Chad Duba, here's your boat. And let's see, who's this? So here is David. I ain't even trying to say your last name, but it looks like you got a lot of shit with your boat. Boat fishing rails and such. John, my contact number's all over, baby. You can find me. It's easier for me to find you to find me than me to find you. All right, this is a boat we got back a while back that was wrecked. We went ahead and fixed the bow and got it back pretty. We still got to add a piece of turf right here, but no big deal. So we're going to come back to this one in a little bit. This is the one I have for sale. Like I said, we're gonna come back to it. It's 1856, 24 inch sides, hunt deck, saddleback pods with a flip up, spot for speakers, gas tank, five for front deck, 40 inch stow in, 20 inch stow under. Here's a little flip up back deck. It hides the hunt deck and semi V and enclosed light bar. But I'll come back and we'll talk about it in a bit. Man, it is hot out here. We'll come see what's uh, what we had that's that's halfway ready to be picked up. And we're gonna go in rigging, then paint, then watch new construction, then come back and check out that boat I have for sale. All right, this big beast needs to be picked up. This is for Kevin. Come get it. I'm about to sell it. If you guys seen the picture a while back with the boat that was in the back of the guy's window of his truck. Here's the boat. That's the trailer and the motor. So this boat was hit like 70 miles per hour from the back and pushed in the back of someone's truck. It's unbelievable. I don't know if y'all remember the game Excite Bike, but there's Ron, riding the bike around all day. This boat, we had a little repair on the front end. We fixed it up. It's looking nice. This one, we had a gas tank issue. Uh, the sending unit was leaking a little bit, got it on the turf, so we went ahead and 
put a new tank, cleaned up the turf, and we're gonna put new turf on it. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if I got a name. There's no name underneath. It's gonna be powered by an outboard. That's pretty much all I know. He's, he's having two uh two trolling motors on the rear. Really weird, but it is what it is. That's our first time trying this paint scheme. The customer brought us this little cooler and said match it. And so this is what we did. I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, the size of this one, 1854. Still need to rig it. I think we're putting a 60 or a 70 on it. Have to put the rubber and the gunner rail. All right. God, I don't know if I said it was hot, but it's fucking hot. After this video, I'm, I'm gonna have to take a couple days off. Hey, y'all can turn the radio off. Turn the radio off. Facebook will shut me down with music, so there we go. All right, we showed this one a while back. We'll show it again. Old school with high gloss, really came out sharp. We still gotta finish putting the turf on it and it needs a motor. Hopefully that'll be this week or next week, just to color the turf. Really, really sharp. This is the one we're finishing rigging up right now. It's a midnight blue. It's hard to see in the shade, but uh, Kate's finishing rigging up. Let's see, this uh, 1856 flip up, which that'll go down to be a back deck or all the way underneath so that it hides what's uh, underneath the hunt deck. This one has a five foot front deck with 40 inch, 40 inch still in, 20 inch still under, but the 20 inch still under is also a little box. I'm not a big fan of it. It's kind of a pain in the ass to build, but if you want it, you get it. The only thing we can't do is what you can't buy. Let's go see what we got in paint. We tried a, a new scheme. Customer wanted the, 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 I'm gonna call it slicker, slicker than sicker for half the price in the old school colors with the greens. So this is what we came up with. So this boat's gonna have a, I think he's putting a 60 or a 70. The drop deck for the decoys. This one's just been based. All right. If you notice, there's no CNCs or anything like that. Everything's raw with a skill saw. He just started that boat, at least today. This one was raw plate this morning. Waiting on the customer to give us some more information. He wanted this console, this design, and this big to cover two seats. The problem is, he won't have any room in the boat, so you gotta rethink it. We just build it, we don't design it. There's a... Uh, a big boy, uh, let's see, 26 by 7. Finishing up the ribs in it. I don't want to stay on them too long. People's going to start getting some ideas and trying to figure out how's the right way to build it. There's a 27 by 7. Back deck, front deck. Right now he's designing a fuel tank. Fuel tank's going to come in and actually cover these wings. So good looking boat. Again, you can see the pad underneath. All right, let's go look at that boat I got for sale. And then tag your friends, snap a picture, whatever you have to do. Right now it's raw aluminum. I'll sell it like it is, or we can paint it. We can turf it. Only thing I can't do on it is put a motor on it. I'm not selling motors anymore until they catch up with inventory. Bridging Stratton and Yamaha and Mercury and everyone else downfall in life is not mine. So I can't take a risk anymore. We build boats. You want a motor? Go to a motor builder. 
You want a motor with me? Wait a year. So this is it. Ready to go. We can add paint, turf, a trailer, even a troller motor. It's just not an outboard or a mud motor. All right, I'll go over the paperwork. So it is 18 by 56, 24 inch sides, semi V, smooth gunnels, dual normal drain plugs, fully welded floor with no trip hazards, trolling motor mount on front deck, eight inch catwalks, spot for a switch panel, has a drink holder, a grab bar, Saddleback pods with flip up deck, a transducer mount, and a removable light bar. All right. So, if anyone needs one, this one's ready right now. You can go online and look at what the price should be. If you're the high bidder, you get it. If you're not, you can wait in line 40, 50 weeks like the other people. All right, let's, let's see. All right, so that's pretty much it for right now. If anybody needs anything, you can uh, always get quotes online on www.unclejcustomboats.com. Um, if it's too much and you, and you need a, a specialty quote, make sure you, you got money before you contact me. I'm tired of dealing with broke people, all right? Like, contact me if you're ready to rock and roll. Um, no, I cannot get motors. No, I don't want to find a motor. You have a better chance of getting a motor than me due to the fact that you can go anywhere and get it. I only have a few people I get them from. So you need a motor, you go find it. You bring it to me, I'll get your boat out in 12, 14, 16 weeks. You need a motor, 50, 60, 80 weeks. Or I don't take the order. So everyone have a great day and uh, enjoy y'all week. Later.